Some things are better off kept sealed from the outside world. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. ¿Cómo te llamas tú? Miguel. What happens in the boys' locker room stays in the boys' locker room. What happened between me and your fine mom stays between me and your fine mom. But most importantly, whatever horrendous acts of barbarism were committed during the boys' sleepover has to stay between the boys. Ten guys all staying in one house without parental observation. You already know there are gonna be several war crimes committed in there. Back when we were kids, sleepovers felt like... And once we got older, once we started getting acne, once we started growing out ass hair, sleepovers evolved from being this magical calm night into a magical calm night that slowly but surely intensifies in insanity as time passes by. <laughs> The longer you stay awake at a sleepover, the more unhinged the ideas of what y'all should do next become. Before we get in depth about the insanity, let's quickly talk about the canon characters at a sleepover. Character 1, the biggest loser. This guy falls asleep first like a pussy and ends up getting woken up in the most inhumane way possible. Don't be surprised if there is a huge penis drawn across your face when you wake up. Character 2, the biggest loser, reverse edition. This guy not only falls asleep first, but he is not able to find a fucking blanket. Buckle up, motherfucker. Go use the couch as your blanket. Or the pizza box. Speaking of pizza, character number three, the biggest loser in the most literal sense. There is always one fat motherfucker at the sleepover that devours all the snacks. Sometimes you don't know if this guy is human or a fucking vacuum cleaner. Hide your pets cause this bowling ball is not able to control himself. Character 4, the biggest pussy. That one kid who is always homesick. Oh, I wanna sleep in my own bed. I miss my mom. <laughs> Fuck out of here, pussy. Don't kill the vibe. I miss your mom too, but do you see me fucking crying? Character 5, the hyperactive motherfucker. The guy who wants to go on a hike at 4 a.m. Let us fucking sleep, bro. It's enough. And character six, the overly sensitive host. I know it's your house, bro, but why am I not allowed to take a shit in your toilet? Huh? Don't touch this. Don't touch that. Motherfucker, hey, yo, am I at a sleepover fuck? or in a fucking museum? Please like this video and follow Nermin on Instagram and Twitch or his father will pull out the belt. Okay, guys. Great, now you might ask yourself, how does a classic boy sleepover look like? You can subdivide the sleepover into three main arcs. The first arc lasts from 5 p.m. till around 9 p.m. In this arc, the boys usually chill, eat some pizza, play some video games, and talk about life. This is the therapy you don't have to pay for. Nothing seems to be out of the ordinary. When the clock hits 10 p.m. though, the demons slowly start coming out. One of the boys suggests watching a movie, and a lot of the times it's a horror movie. Now apart from the fact that y'all are not even gonna finish the movie in the first place, this is where the second arc starts. For some reason. Some of the boys are gonna start wrestling. I know it sounds bland and there is no scientific explanation for this phenomenon, but it happens all the fucking time. One of the boys is gonna start acting overly gay. Embarrassing. <laughs> Again, there is no scientific explanation for this one as well. Hitting on everyone in a playful manner, like stop dry humping me motherfucker. The host is gonna try to calm everyone down and the fat motherfucker is gonna sneak into the kitchen just to see what the fridge has to offer. In other news, the sky is still blue. Hell has broken fucking loose and there is mayhem all over the place. Oh, and no, now Khabib no, jumps no, the no, fence. No, 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 Whoa, no, no. And he's going right at Dylan Dennis. Mayhem. Oh, no. This goes on for a while until the third and final arc begins at around 2 a.m. 
the lunacy arc. We start doing shit that is unexplainable. Shit that we would never do in a sane state. One guy might shave his head, another guy might jump from the roof just to prove how cool he is, the fat motherfucker is still eating in the kitchen, and there is a ritual being performed on the guy who fell asleep first. Complete madness all over the place. But once the birds start chirping outside, we slowly calm down and we start falling asleep one by one. And when we wake up after the worst slumber we ever had, we go home and act like nothing ever happened. Yep, that's it. What's in that black backpack? Always nothing, well nothing turning into something. Cause soon as the